WordPress is arguably the most popular content management system on the web. Uh, it's a really dynamic platform that allows you to do just about anything you'd like to your website. Now, the Paper Street WordPress platform has been adjusted even more so. We've added additional features to make it more organized specifically for you, our clients. So on the left-hand sidebar of the dashboard, this is the dashboard view that you should see after you log in to the testing link that'll be at the slash wp.admin URL. So a few of the custom post types, the things that make the Paper Street WordPress platform a little different than say your own personal WordPress website is going to be what we call custom post types. And those appear on the left-hand side here, that they are pages, practice areas, attorneys, and offices. So at this point in the project, your WordPress platform has already been uploaded with all of the pages that were approved in the site architecture. And at this stage, we need to add copy for each of those pages. So let's click on one of these sections. Let's open up practice areas. You'll see here that there's a list of pages that uh, have already been preloaded into the system. So let's try to understand how these pages are set up. The hyphens indicate that that is a subpage. So in this menu, employment law and personal injury are the main practice area pages. They're at the very top tier. And employment law, overtime law, overtime pay, and sexual harassment, these are the subpages under employment law. So the, the dash here indicates that it, it is a child of the page above it. And two dashes would indicate that it is a child of the page above that. So Bus accidents is a third tier page. It's under prep, personal injury, auto accidents, bus accidents. So let's open up one of these pages, like we were going to add copy to that page. And you'll see that in WordPress, there's a big box that populates at the top. That's where you're gonna drop your copy in for this particular project. So you'll add your copy here, whether you're copying and pasting from Microsoft Word or if you're typing organically into WordPress itself. You'll notice that there's a toolbar here at the top left-hand corner. That's a pretty standard toolbar. It allows you to add bullets, add an ordered list. You can um, add hyperlinks if you need to. You can change whether something needs to be labeled in H2 or in H3. These are the two most common that you'd likely use. So for an example, if I wanna change this header to an H3 on the page, I can do so using this menu here. You can also bold and italicize. When you're done making your edits to the page, you'll just want to click the update button at the very right. Okay. So let's go back to the main practice area page. There are a few things you can do from the quick edit preview. If you hover over any of these pages, you'll notice that you quickly get the option to edit the page that would open the view we just saw to quick edit, move it to trash or view. So if we want to quick edit one of these pages, it allows us to quickly change the name of the page. Um, let's say we want to change overtime pay disputes you know, in Florida. And let's say we don't want it to be under employment law anymore. We want it to be under employment discrimination. We can make those changes here in the quick view edit. Let me click update and you'll see that it's moved overtime pay disputes in Florida. That's the new title under employment discrimination. If you need to add a new practice area, you can do so using this button at the very top. You'll just click add new. You'll fill in the title of the page here. You'll add the body text if it's ready, and then you'll click publish. If you don't want it to be a main tier page, you'll have to choose the parent. So for example, if maybe we wanna make a page that says truck accidents, and we're gonna put that under auto accidents, you would choose auto accidents. The parent is the page that's, the section that's directly above the page you're adding. Okay, so let's move down the list here and look at attorneys. I'm going to open up the attorney list. Again, this will be pre-populated with all the attorneys that were listed in your site architecture. So let's open up John Smith. And you'll see that this template is a little different than the one we were just looking at. In John Smith's bio, here you'll want to add, add the copy, the narrative, the paragraph form for John Smith. And then below, we're just going to fill in each of these fields. So you're going to add the first letter of the attorney's last name, the attorney's last name, their position, um, whether they're attorney, associate of counsel, a partner, whatever the verbiage that you use at the firm is, you would add that there. You would add the person's email, select their offices. Their offices are pulling from this custom post type here. When we get there, you'll see how you can add an office. So you're always gonna have at least one if 
you're a firm that has five offices, you might have five selections here. So you'll choose the office that this particular attorney uh, or partner, this particular person works in. You'll add the phone number and the fax number. In this box, you'll add all the billeted information. For example, that would be education, bar admissions, professional affiliations, things of that nature. Uh, and then related practices. So this related practices box pulls from your practice area section and you'll just choose the practice areas that this person practices in by adding the plus sign. If you need to remove them, you can do the same here, moving them back to the left. When you're done adding all of this information, you'll want to click update to save everything, and then you can move on to the next page or the next attorney. So now let's look at offices. 99% of the time, the offices copy is already going to be added for you. You won't need to do anything particular. Um, but this template does look a little different also. The name of the page will be the name of the city or the county if you're working with counties instead. If you have unique text for this city page as we would call it, you can add it in this box here. Otherwise, you just need to fill in the blanks here. We're adding the street address, the city, the zip, the phone, the email, if that information exists. Paper Street will populate the map link and the map coordinates for you. So the last custom post type I want to talk about is uh, pages. Pages is everything on your website that is not a practice area, an office, or an attorney bio. So that's going to be your legal disclaimer page in the footer. It's going to be your home page, your about page, your about sub pages. It's also going to be your main contact page. Um, it could be pages like our philosophy or case results or testimonials. All of those would fall under the pages category. And this template is going to look very similar to the practice area template. It's going to have this main body box here where you drop in the content and then click update when you were complete. Uh, the same features exist here that existed on the practice area template. You have the same formatting toolbar up here. You can change the parent of a page on the right hand side or you can use the quick view from the main pages dashboard. So that's pretty much WordPress in a nutshell. Check out some of our other videos for some more advanced functionality explanations. Thank you.